Hello, Cancer viewers. So let's look into what your person's thinking, feeling, wanting, what action they might be taking towards you. Let's just see what the cards have to say. Um, I was getting, so a couple weeks ago when I did the readings, I was getting that your guides are pushing your person towards you. Like they're pushing them really hard right now. There's a lot going on in the spirit realm regarding this situation. This could be something that's dragged on for um, years for a lot of you, or at least months, I would say, for the majority of you. They're, you know, your spirit guides and their spirit guides are really pushing them to finally reach out and finally make this happen. And they've been just sort of blocking themselves out of fear and pride. But I do feel like regarding love, you're at a crossroads right now. That's the energy I was getting for the last cancer reading that I did. Um, that your spirit, you know, the original plan was for this person to be your life partner. But of course, free will comes into play. And, you know, sometimes things just change a little bit. But you do have more than one potential life partner. So it's it's not over necessarily if, if this one person doesn't work out. But um, but yeah, this, this person was originally, if this is your story, then this person was originally meant to be, you know, the person that you spend your life with, maybe someone that you go into business with, someone that you have a this, this long-term relationship with. But, um, you know, pride and fear and stubbornness and, and miscommunication and... Uh, you know, just, just life events, just their mentality, your mentality, it, it all, it all comes into play. So sometimes, you know, we can't always honor our soul contracts. Sometimes, um, you know, things just get in the way and we have to honor those soul contracts in other lives, or we have to, you know, find some way around that or find a different way to do what we were meant to do. But, uh, but yeah, but your guides are really pushing your person right now. They're really tired of their stubbornness. They've really gotten frustrated with them they they do want to see you guys together. They do want to see what you, you know, see you guys do what you came here to do together. Um, but I feel like they don't want you to be alone either. So you're at this crossroads where if your person doesn't reach out soon, they're probably just going to end up bringing someone else into your life who's going to end up being your life partner. So, you know, you're not meant to be alone or anything. But so, yeah, they're being pushed right now. Um... Let's see what's going on. Let's see what else is going on at this point. Belonging. So we have success, the fledgling reverse, which is about new beginnings. So it's almost like, I don't really have to see how all these cards play out together. Um, confidence. Reverse. It's very mixed energy because we got confidence reverse, which would be insecurity, and then we have belonging, and we have deceit. Hmm. Very mixed energy. Uh, what else? Fulfillment. High priestess of spirit reverse, which would be intuition. Let me straighten this out for you guys. Sorry. I feel like someone's really going back and forth with you here. Because with success, see all this mixed energy? Like the fledgling upright would be a new start. And confidence upright, you know, that'd be a new a new start. Like someone taking the confidence, to, you know, taking the steps to have this new start. But it's reversed. So I feel like it's saying like this new start is being blocked by this person's insecurities and their fears. Um, maybe if it's been a while since you guys have talked, maybe they're afraid of reaching out, like they're being pushed really strongly to reach out, but maybe they feel like they messed up too much or too much time has gone by and it's awkward and they're not sure what to say. So it's like you have this little step, like success, like an epiphany or, or some sort of step forward, but then then their insecurity pulls them back. And then it's like they, they feel that sense of belonging with you. Like they feel that sense of just being at home with you, being connected, like feeling that they just belong with you, that they're at home with you. But then deceit comes into play. So this could be um, cheating or or lies or rumors that miscommunication, things that might have separated you guys. I almost feel like it's like they're deceiving themselves too. Like they know that they belong with you. They know that they feel at home with you, but it's like they're trying to downplay it and they're trying to kind of lie to themselves about it due to their own insecurities. 
Um, but it's like you are their fulfillment. They're just still in denial about it. And it's like with the high priestess reversed here, it's like they're not using their intuition. So there's a lot of mixed energy here. Um, I think that maybe some of them aren't also aren't used to being pushed by spirit like this. Like maybe you told them about, you know, psychic readings and soulmates and twin flames and the spiritual community and all of that. And maybe they were like a little bit open to it, but they didn't fully understand it. Or maybe they have untapped psychic powers themselves, but they are just, they've never fully embraced them the way that you have. And so maybe, you know, having you show up in their dreams or having, you know, the synchronicities be everywhere, having their guides really push them as, as strongly as they're pushing them. Because your guides are really, have really been pushing them lately. Like really, this wouldn't just be like, oh, they kind of get like a little intuitive nudge to maybe text you. This is like, like they're, they're like hearing your name everywhere. Like they're, they're seeing you in their dreams. They're, um you know, they think about you and then you text them or you run into each other. It's, it's like, it's like that kind of energy where I think, I think for some, um, your person might actually be going through a spiritual awakening and they're using their, their spirit guides and your spirit guides are using your connection with each other to help this person go down this spiritual awakening path. If that makes any sense, like they're basically, um, cause I mean, love, think about it. Love is so transformative. Like love really helps us get on our paths. Like it helps, you know what I mean? Like it inspires us to be our best selves. Like knowing that you can have that, that life partner with you, that you can have that kind of future with someone it's inspiring and getting in tune with that, you know, that passion and that emotion and that, that energy of romance can really open you up on a psychic level too. So I think that's what's going on right now with your person is I think that they're going through a spiritual awakening and there's, there's, when you go through that, there's a lot of really mixed energy. It's like on one hand you feel, you know, um, your, your, the, the mask is coming off. So there's a lot of emotions that go with that. It's like, you're seeing the true nature of the world. You're, you know, he's, he or she is becoming aware of, um, you know, psychic energy and that sort of thing. But it's scary at, at points of two for, for someone who's not really, who's maybe in, been in a di denial about that their whole lives or like maybe sort of accepted it but never fully accepted it. It's like this person is now being forced to face that. So so your guides are using your romantic connection as a way to kind of, um, you know, put put them on this spiritual path. Like they're they're seeing all the synchronicities and they're, they're, having you come to them in their dreams and their, um, you know, just feeling that sort of deep, intense psychic connection. And so that's opening their mind and triggering this awakening process where they're, they're, you know, um, getting in tune with that energy and, and kind of, you know, being aware that, wow, this stuff actually is real. Like the, you know, twin flames are real. Soulmates are real. The psychic, you know, the astral realm, the, the psychic world, all of it is real. And they're, they're realizing that through the connection with you. So I think that there's like a little bit of a, a back and forth energy though, because there's times when they get scared and they're like, oh my gosh, like, am I going, am I going crazy? Like, am I just obsessed with this person? Like, why am I having dreams about this person? Why do they keep coming to me in my dreams? Like they're not fully, um, it's like they understand it, but they're still struggling to fully grasp it and, and, um, integrate that into their, their physical day-to-day -day life. You know, they're, they're still bringing that, that energy in from the higher realms and kind of grounding it into the physical world. So there's a lot of things that are happening in their lives right now, not just with you, but also just personally, probably with like careers and other things that they're just not used to, that they haven't really ex fully experienced before. So there's a lot of life changes that your person is going through right now. I feel um, and it's, it's kind of like sometimes they block their intuition out a little bit because they're like, they're like, what's going on? <laughs> like they're trying to like ground and balance and like figure this, this energy out. Um, but yeah, they are being pushed. I mean, it's, it's kind of just like a continuation of the reading we got a couple of weeks ago. It's still that same energy, but they're, I mean, I do feel like they're being pushed harder now. I feel like, um. I feel like they had more epiphanies. Like, I feel like they were starting to have some epiphanies here and there, like maybe, you know, hearing your name or something or just kind of like little synchronicities like, oh, that's that's odd that she or he texts me at 1111 or that's that's um, that's really weird that I was just thinking about them and they they called me or, um, 
you know, I saw them post on social media when we haven't talked in a while. Like that's, that's a strange coincidence, but you know, over time they're kind of like, I mean, it's happening quickly, but they're, they're starting to think more and more like, oh, wow, that's not, that can't just be a coincidence. Cause there's so many, your spirit guides are showing them so many little like coincidences like this. that They're like, oh, wow, that's not a coincidence anymore. That's like, that's synchronicity. So they're, they're probably doing a lot of research into the spiritual world as well. Um, figuring this energy out because they, like I said, they're just not fully used to it. Not, not, not to the extent that you are. So those epiphanies are getting stronger and stronger to the point where they can't really deny them anymore. Um, but they are still, you know, they're, they, they've, they've sort of, they're embracing this connection more and more too, because they're realizing that this is a deep psychic connection, that this is a very spiritual connection. I feel like from a logical perspective, they might think like, why am I still attached to this person? I haven't talked to them in years or months or like, you know, it didn't work out before, but now that it's kind of like they're coming to this with like a new perspective because they're, they're getting in tune with their higher selves. So they're seeing this in a more spiritual light now. Like they're, they're kind of, they're seeing the soul connection, you know, like if you've had past lives together, they might, some of them might even be having past life memories, but they're at least like they have some awareness that this connection is is beyond just this lifetime. They're they're having some sort of awareness that this is that there is something special and real here. That there is something um, here on a soul level, even if they don't, even if they haven't fully comprehended what that is. But um, but yeah, the energy is is overall. I, f I feel like it's flowing well. Like it's 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 natural to have those ups and downs when you're being pushed like this, you know what I mean? Like, you know, when most people go through their spiritual, you know, awakening or whatever you want to call it. I, 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 when I say spiritual awakening, I just mean that, um, you know, that phase of your life where it's like your, your intuition just comes flooding in. Like you just, you, you realize the true nature of the world. Like you start getting, you start using your psychic abilities. You start taking all this stuff seriously. And those processes can be really intense, you know, some, you know, especially having like the dreams and visions and everything else that, that all that can be really intense. So, you know, I feel like it's, it's kind of like a back and forth where it's like, it's, it's stronger now than it was a couple of weeks ago. The epiphanies, the synchronicities, the dreams, the, the, the gut feelings that they need to reach out. They're a lot stronger than they were a couple of weeks ago, but then there's also like the pushback a little bit too, where they're like, what is this? Like, what, what the hell? Why is this person showing up in my dreams every night? You know, like a little bit of like, what, like trying to ground this energy into the physical world. Do you know what I mean? Like they're just, they're trying to find that balance, but, but it's good though. It's good. The strong, um, sexual romantic energy here as well. Playful energy. They're wanting to bring a playful energy into this connection, or they might be thinking about certain sexual times with you. Um, they're missing, maybe they're missing your playful energy. There's something with lust and playfulness here. They have some things that they need to let go of right now, I think. And I think that might be part of the delay is that they're, they're working through, okay, so they might've, some of them might've cheated or some of them have problems with loyalty. I feel like some of them have, okay, this actually makes sense now because we have lust. So some of them sort of give in to temptation and lust, like they don't have a very strong willpower. Um, they just kind of give in to that. And it makes sense now looking at all this, this energy. It's like they're, they're kind of seduced easily, you know? And we have letting go. And what they're, what they're letting go of is, is loyalty reversed. So, you know, yeah, high priestess of earth, would, earth reverse. So earth energy would be, um, well, it could be them letting go of an earth sign. It could also be saying, um, it could, I feel like it could also be saying like, um, being ungrounded, like they're letting go of, yeah, see, okay. So it's like, I don't ever excuse cheating. Like ex cheating is a no, no. Like I would, I would, I would be done with someone if they cheated on me. So I'm definitely not telling you to, to give this person another chance if that's what they did. But there's just, the, I'm just, I'm just telling you what the cards are saying. It doesn't mean that I think that you should, if this is your story and they cheated, it doesn't mean that I think that you should give them another chance. I'm just telling you what, what the story is here. But it seems like someone has very weak willpower. Like someone, and this could just be for a few of you, but it feels like someone kind of gives into lust, like they get seduced really easily and they want to make sure that they've 
fix that before they come back to you. But the thing is that they're very insecure. They're very, they probably seem really egotistical, but they're actually very scared and insecure, but they just try not to show that to you. And it's like, they actually feel invisible in their, in their day-to-day -day life. Like at work, like they feel like people talk over them or their ideas aren't good enough or they're, they're not smart enough. Um, in love, it's like, they kind of feel like, like miscommunication energy or they feel like unwanted or invisible you know, just think about what that means to you. Just that energy of being invisible, like not being seen, not being heard, not being loved, not being wanted, you know, it could be these deep wounds that they've carried for years and years of just not feeling seen, um, not feeling like they could be them true selves around people, be their true selves around people. So it's kind of like they just, it's like that lust energy. It's like it gives them it's like, wow, someone wants me, someone, you know, someone sees me, someone loves me. And it's like, they don't, they, it's like, they forget that that's not real love. You know what I mean? Like when they get seduced, like when someone uses them for sex or money or whatever else, it's like, wow, someone like really wants me. And it's like, it's like they're sabotaging themselves. Like they're insecure. This could be you doing this to yourself too, but I feel like for most of you, it's probably your person, but it, it's almost like, like this lust energy, it's like someone like uses your person or they manipulate them or they just they just want to have sex or whatever. But it's like your person is like, wow, I feel like they want me like they're they you know what I mean? Like they 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 want me. They see me. Um, and it's sabotage because with someone who's really good for them, it's like they don't feel like they can match up. But when it's like just sexual or it's just them being used or something, it's kind of like on a deep level, they know it's never going to go anywhere. So it's like, it works for them. You know what I mean? Because it's like, it doesn't really trigger their fears and insecurities the way a good relationship would, because like deep down, they know that they're just being used and manipulated and that it's just lust. But, um, you know what I mean? Like, like deep down, they know it's not going anywhere. So it doesn't trigger their commitment issues and fears and insecurities because it's like they already know it's not good for them but they just it's like they kind of suppress that and they're like oh this is fun whatever you know so they're um like I said they have weak willpower too but it's it's more I feel like the this lust energy it's more like just their self-esteem like I don't even know if they really care about these other people I feel like like if this is like a third party that they left you for or something I don't even know if it's necessarily that they cared about this other person as much as it's just like they liked all that attention. Like they needed attention from multiple sources to make them feel good about themselves. You know, it's all just their own insecurities and fears and issues. And so they're trying to let go. They're trying to heal from these insecurities, but they don't know how. And they're trying to heal from this lack of loyalty. They're trying to be loyal. They're trying to, you know what I mean? Because there's like a lack of loyalty that's, in t that's tied to this feeling of being invisible and not being wanted. Um, so they're trying to heal these like kind of deep rooted issues so that they actually are mentally strong enough to be loyal. And so that when you guys get in an argument or there's miscommunication, they're not just like, oh, they don't want me. They hate me. I'm worthless. I'm going to go, you know, mess around with this other person and they'll want me. You know what I mean? Like, I think they know that that's crap. I think that they know that mentality, that victim mentality they have. I think they know that's garbage. So they're trying to fix that right now. That's where they're at. They're trying to fix that. They're, they they want to make sure that they're going to be loyal because they know that if they have another chance with you, and this could just be loyalty in general, not even necessarily with like cheating, just maybe loyalty in like the sense that they don't ghost you, that they don't run off again when things get rough. Like this could also just be like lust, like in life in general, like just being seduced away from you, like away from commitment. You know what I mean? Like just kind of, um, not even necessarily like, like a third party energy is what I get, but it's like, it might not even be a person. It might just be like this energy that kind of pulled them away. You know what I mean? And so they're wanting to make sure that when they do come back in, that they're not going to ghost you. They're not going to run. They're not going to cheat. Like they want to make sure if they do, if they do come back in, that they're going to be ready for it. Yeah, they're completing a cycle and it's reversed. So it's like it's ending. It's like they're just kind of standing still. Like they're not trying to summon anything right now. Hmm. Summon understanding. I feel like they're just kind of lost a little bit confused. 
it's like they're seeing the beauty of things. Like they're, I don't see, what are you? Obedience and denial, fragment. I feel like they've been in denial in the past about like their own, like how they've been fragmented, you know? But I feel like you have justice coming in. Give me a few more cards just really quickly about this. Publicity, social media, so spying on you possibly. Ending, they want to end this path. Yeah, they are reaching like a breakthrough. It's just messy. It's like it's like this healing process and this psychic awakening process, but it is messy for them. But they are coming into this new perspective where they're going to, um, like they're going to listen and they're going to understand more. They're ending some kind of pattern or cycle. Spying, yeah, we have public, publicity, social media, and we have spying here. So yeah, they, they are, I feel like a lot of them are watching you right now. And they just want to make sure that they, when they come in, that they come in with this, um, that they've had that breakthrough first and that they're fully ready for it. Confusion, uncertainty. Some of them might feel like you're with someone else. Because there's confusion that's tied to clubs, parties. Yeah, I feel like that's also like the part of them that they're like that lusty part of themselves that they're still trying to like still not sure if they can overcome that part of themselves and they want to make sure that if they come in that they do it right because they know that this would be their last chance with you and they want to make sure that they're um communicating with you well too yeah they want to make sure that they can be loyal and stable and really offer you the kind of love that you want and deserve before they come back around um there might be some nervousness too if it's been a while since you guys have talked but that's kind of just where their head is right now that they're kind of i mean i feel like they're certain about you like they're, I feel like they feel really good about how they feel about you, but it's more like they doubt themselves. Like it's like their own insecurities. Like, can I really be loyal? Can I really commit that long? Can I really um, communicate well? Can I really understand my person? Can I really um, like, am I strong enough to handle this kind of deep love and this kind of relationship and this kind of, you know, these psychic epiphanies and this kind of psychic connection? Like, am I strong and good enough to be able to to have this kind of love like they're kind of in their head about this right now and sort of just spying and um and working on themselves you know they're at least asking these questions finally and having these epiphanies finally and their guides are really pushing them towards you but like i was saying in the last reading that i did if this person doesn't come around soon i feel like your guides are just going to say enough is enough because your guides have gotten really frustrated with them so if this person doesn't have that breakthrough and um reach out in the near future i feel like your guides might say you know screw this and they might just bring you in that second life partner that we mentioned so anyway, that's what I, that's where we're at now. Um, if this resonates, if you'd like a private reading, my email address is below. It is dragonenchantress at aol.com. It's in the description box below um, for the spelling. And any donations are appreciated, even just a dollar. It really adds up quickly. And um, yeah, subscribe if this resonates. Thank you for watching.